Today is about popping. Now, oftentimes when dancers hear that term, they think just like popping a shoulder or things of that nature. Now, for my younger students or those who are just beginning hip hop, I encourage that when you're working on isolations so that way you can learn what parts of your body are being used. Actual popping now becomes much more intricate. In order to truly pop, say, your arm, you need to actually contract and release your tricep. In order to properly pop your legs, you need to contract and release your quads. And you have to practice doing this safely, especially when we get down to the legs, because you want to make sure that you're not hyperextending the knees and you don't want to jar the hip. So there's a bit more that goes into some of this stuff. One of the ways I was taught to work on popping your arms is to think about bending a bar. So you have your arms extended out and they have a little bit of a bend to them. All right palms face down and I want you to think like you are holding on to a pipe or a bar of some kind that you're going to try to bend. Now when you do this you want to engage your triceps so these guys back here you want to really try to bend and I want you to think about it being just not easy you have to fight this bar. When you keep working on this, you're going to start engaging those triceps more. And you want to be able to eventually contract and release just the tricep. Legs can be a bit more challenging because again, we have to make sure that we are not hyperextending our knees. And when you contract that quad, your knee kind of can bounce if you are not careful. So in order to combat that, you have to safely engage your hip. Your hip does a little pop forward as your leg pulls back. Over time, this should just start to happen. You do not want to be practicing this the wrong way because you can do a decent amount of damage to your body. So I strongly encourage that you are doing this with an instructor who is very aware of the mechanics involved. Again, once you get going, you can add those triceps, your legs, and you add all these different dynamics and you can change it up and you can get different moves. I will see you tomorrow as we talk about blocking. I will see you then.